Good afternoon, everybody. Can this Tar Heel say go Wolfpack? Okay. That's North Carolina for you. <laughs> Guys, today we get a twofer. They both come from Washington, D.C., and they really are here to help us. <laughs> Not only do we have my former Department of Environmental Quality Secretary, a native son of North Carolina, and current EPA Administrator, Michael Regan, But we also have the Vice President of the United States of America, Kamala Harris. She has been my friend for many years as she served as Attorney General of California when I served as Attorney General of North Carolina. And I am grateful for her. Since she has been Vice President, this is the 12th trip to North Carolina that she has taken. They have come bringing good news, good news about clean energy, energy efficiency, saving consumers money, and environmental justice. Good news about federal investments that will leverage private capital to fight climate change while, while strengthening our economy. This is yet another significant achievement from the Biden-Harris Inflation Reduction Act. I think it's the most significant climate change legislation in our country's history. And it's providing the spark that this country needs to reduce pollution, to pay attention to vulnerable communities that are suffering, and making sure that everybody, everybody can transition to the clean energy economy. Now, our state of North Carolina, right here, we are a prime example. In just the last few years, with the help of the Inflation Reduction Act, North Carolina has become an epicenter of the clean energy economy with billions of dollars invested and thousands of great paying jobs coming to North Carolina. At the same time, North Carolina has been ranked by CNBC as the best state for business in the nation. That is no coincidence. My administration has set out to attract clean energy and sustainable companies, not only to help protect our planet, but to put money in the pockets of North Carolina families with a strong clean energy economy. And just as new technologies harness the power of the sun and the wind, NC, North Carolina, is harnessing the power of our great assets to stay on the cutting edge of the clean energy economy. Our stellar community college system, the best array of public and private universities in the country, more four-year HBCUs than any other state in the country, more HBU students than any other state in the country, and a spirit of in in innovation that has fueled North Carolina to establish the first public university to become first in flight and to leverage these public-private partnerships all over our state for the good of everybody. There are so many great ideas and strategies out there that have been proven and that can work, and they just need the funding to get it done. These announcements today not only bring the promise of federal funds, but the promise of more help from the private sector. The men and women with these great proven ideas and innovations can get the help to make them happen. Today, the Biden-Harris is making, the Biden-Harris administration is making it clear that they believe 
in the clean energy future of this country. Thank you very much, folks. <laughs>